Hey guys, it's Mel here from We Do Football. Hope you all had a fantastic half term and are ready for week six of our football journey. Today's session is going to be on 30 different moves, uh, all based around ball mastery. You don't need anything apart from your ball. Make sure you've got a drink with you. And when you're ready, let's get going. Okay, guys, so I'm not going to do a warm-up or fitness this week, so please make sure you're warmed up. Uh, with there being no video because of half time last week, I want to give you as much football as possible. So we are going to be doing, like I've already said, 30 different ball mastery moves. We're going to spend one minute on each of those moves, and we're going to have 30-second rest in between. Now, in that minute, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Most of you have done these before, and they're quite easy to pick up on. Uh, once you've got the hang of it, you need to continue for that minute doing that activity, okay? I'm going to show it once or twice just for a couple of people that might not be able to get it right away because some of them are a bit tricky. Some people are obviously could be new to the channel. So one minute on each activity. Once you've got the hang of it, keep going until we have our 30 second rest and we'll get all 30 done. So let's go. So our first move, guys, is going to be the penguins, okay? A lot of you know these as the penguins. All you're going to do with the inside of your feet is push the ball to each other, okay? If that's simple enough, one minute, let's get going. Now, if you haven't warmed up, make sure you take it a little bit slow. Really get that ball in the middle of your feet. And as you get more confident, See how small you can get the gap. Bring it wider when you're ready. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Thirty seconds left. Keep going. Keep going. Nice simple one to start. You should feel your legs starting to burn already. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest up. You've got 30 seconds to rest now. Okay, just while we're waiting. Our next one, toe taps, okay? In the next 10 seconds, nice toes on the ball. Keep it as still as you can. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice little toe taps. Start nice and soft if you haven't warmed up. Well done, well done. And as you start to feel more confident, start getting into a rhythm then. 20 seconds gone. And when you think you're ready, maximum speed. Keep that ball as still as you can. Well done, well done, keep going. Trying to warm my jumper today. Keep going, keep going. 25 seconds left. Remember, if you've got any injuries, don't go too far. Don't go too fast either. Just do what you can do. Let's go for 10 seconds. Okay, so at the bottom of our foot, we're going very 
very similar to tappy toes but with a pad. We're going to drag the ball over with our sole onto the other foot, okay? Let's go! Bottom of the foot, drag it over and to the other one. Okay, nice and close, very similar to penguins with the side to side and very similar with the tappy toes to keep the ball nice and close. We don't want too much pressure on that ball. And when you think you're ready to speed it up, carry on. 15 seconds left on this one.
seconds. We are going to do a rollover stop. So something else we've done in our sessions before. So have the ball to the side. And when you're ready, you can join in with me. We're gonna roll it over with the sole of our foot. And we're gonna stop it with our weak foot, okay? And again, roll it over, stop. Your body shouldn't be moving too much for this one. Pass the ball left and right of your body, but make sure you're really rolling over that ball. Okay, 45 seconds if you're happy, let's go. Roll it over your body, stop it with your weak. Roll it, stop. Get it as close to your feet as you can, okay? Roll it across your body. And when you're ready, try and bring a little bounce in there. Keep going, let's go for another. Let's go for another 15. Go, go, go. As close as you can. Really get that little jump in there if you can. Keep going. So drag back, 
pass it forward. And when I start feeling a bit more confident, I'm going to start pushing that ball instead of a pass. I'm going to try bringing that little hop. There we go. Okay, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Fantastic effort. Let's go for another 20 seconds on that one. Drag back with your weak. Try and get that hop in just at the very end. Feel that confidence. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, I'm just going to grab some tissue, guys.
marking off what we've done. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Okay. 20 more seconds. Remember, if any of you don't want 30 seconds rest, you can always keep skipping forward. 30 seconds is just to make sure everybody's got a bit of time, okay? So don't be afraid to just skip it forward 20, 30 seconds if you don't want a break. Okay, so our next one, we call the L, okay? <laughs> Not sure what this was, by the way. The L. Now this one works best once you're in a rhythm, but it's a bit difficult to start with. So I'll just show my way. And for those of you that can learn better from hearing, you're going to drag the ball back just behind your foot. And then with the inside of your strong foot that you've probably just dragged back with, it's going to go behind your weak foot, but come forward. Okay, so we're doing an L shape behind our standing leg. So I'll show you one more time for those who are listening. Drag it back. And then it's going to come up behind that one. Okay, so if you think you've got that, get going. I'll show everybody else. That's not so short. So, you're going to drive the ball back here. And then with your inside of your foot, you're going to bring it up. Okay? So drive back with the sole and stop. And then bring the ball up with the inside of your foot. And as you keep going, you're getting a nice little rhythm. Not like that. And you'll start moving both your feet then. Whoosh. Keep going, keep going. I find this one difficult to get started. There we go. Drag it back. Remember to move your feet. Once you get in that rhythm, you find your feet move better and it goes. There we go. Drag back, move your feet, bring it up. Let's go for another 10 seconds on that one. Before we move on to the difficult bit of it. Five. Well done, well done, have a little rest. So if we've just done that with our strong foot, how are we doing it now? Exactly, with our weak foot. This one's going to be a barrel of laughs, let me tell you. So, do another 15 second rest. If you're ready to go, you could of course start. Okay, get going if you think you're ready. If you're not ready like me, I'm just going to figure my feet out for a minute. Okay, let's start our minute then. Figure our feet out. Drag it back in one motion. Pass it up. And I know it's fine, this isn't going completely up. Because mine is not. Keep going, let's go for another 25. It's making me think too hard, this is. Anyone else find in a match you do these things automatically, but now it's all slowed down, you've got to think, can't do it. 10 seconds. Well done, well done. Okay, let's have a rest. Who's sweating? I am. I don't even feel like I'm doing a lot, but I'm sweating. Can't wait till this warmer weather's here so we can go outside. Okay. So 20 seconds of our rest left now. And we're going to do the V. Okay, so we've done this again in one of our previous videos. So those of you that have watched well done, because you should be pros at this one now. 
You're going to drag back, let's start our minute now. Drag back with our strong and with our left, we're gonna pass up, okay? We're drawing that V shape here and stop it, okay? So then with your strong foot, drag back and up we go. Okay, do you think you can do it? Get going, I'll show everybody else. Now I find it easier to put my ball at 11 o'clock again, okay? I'm gonna drag back with my strong, pass with the inside then, and then I'm gonna drag back with my weak, inside pass with my weak, okay? Make sense? Shall I show it one more time? 45 seconds left, so start the ball at one o'clock, Drag back with your weak or strong, inside pass, drag back with the other foot, inside pass, okay? All you're doing is drawing a V. And once you're in the rhythm, you should look something like this. Here we go. Lots of practice. Here we go, here we go, keep going. Nice inside pass. Keep going, let's go for another 10. Let's get carried away in that one, I loved it. I could actually do it. And rest, rest, rest. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so if you've just done that with our strong, what are we doing now? Fantastic, we're doing it with our weak foot, well done. So you've got 10 seconds. In fact, we're not doing it with our weak, are we? We're doing it with the outside, sorry. Music's too good. So whereas before, we were dragging back and inciding, we're now going to drag back, but use the outside of our foot. Okay, exactly what we were doing, but instead of an inside pass, we're going with an outside of the foot pass, okay? Drag back, pass, drag back, pass. Get going with 45 seconds for those of you that need to, just for me to say it again. Start with the ball off to the side. Drag it back again, okay, as you can see. And as it gets here to my feet, with the outside of my foot, I'm gonna push it to the side. Then I'm going to drag it back again and push for the outside of my foot. Okay? Let's go for another 30 seconds with that one. This one should be a lot closer to your feet, she says. seconds so for this next one I would like four penguins and a rollover okay so you need to figure your feet out on this one so so you need to go outside but roll the other way if this makes sense so for me I'm going from my weak foot first so I'm going one two three and on the fourth one I'm rolling the ball over okay so I'll say that one more time start with your weak foot you're gonna go one, two, three, and roll over on your strong on number four, okay? And then you're doing it the other way. One, two, three, and four. Let's go, let's go. Stop that weight. Figure your feet out. Just 
Keep going, let's go for another 25. 25 seconds, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Well done. It's not easy in a little space, just do what you can. Five seconds. Okay, rest, rest, rest. So for our next one, I'm sure some of you have heard of keep it ups. I'm sure a lot of you are better than I am. But we're going to do keep it up for 30 seconds with our left foot only. Okay? Let's have 10 more seconds rest. When you're ready, weak foot only. Keep it up. Let's go. Oh, what a start from me. Please don't smash anything. If you're not very good with your week on its own, make sure you put banks in there. Ten seconds. Oh. So in the habit of using both. So difficult. Anyone else find that their mind just gets the other one to do it? Okay, rest. If we've just done our week for that's a poor effort for me. Poor. We're going to go with our strong foot this time, okay? So we'll go for another 10 seconds. 10 second rest. Get ready. Okay. Oh. Hay fever off today. Okay, let's go. Weak. Up. Crikey. Strong foot only on this one. Let's go. Just a strong foot. Extra careful.
your foot, your foot shouldn't come away from the ball at all from this. Once to get going, we're only going to do this one for 30 seconds. A minute's a long time. If you really got to hang with this one. Once you get in that rhythm, you should see little small pushes, okay? Really think about that push pull whilst you're doing this. The pull and push. 15 seconds. Keep going. Really get it on those laces. It's not our toes, this one, it's the laces. And rest, rest, rest. How are we doing? We all okay? Cool. Okay, so we've just done our strong foot. What are we doing now? Our weak foot. Okay, I'm not going to show you because you already know. Let's do 30 seconds on this one. Let's get going. Make sure you hold that core. That core is key for your weak foot. Hold that core nice and tight. Don't let it roll away. Let's go another 10 seconds. Push and pull.
together. Three. Press, press. Okay. We are on number 24, so six left. This one, we see Messi do this one all the live long day. So we're going to do an outside push. Uh, is that what I'm doing? Yeah, outside push, inside cut, just like Messi does. So outside push, inside cut. Okay? Outside push, inside cut. Now, I don't have a lot of room, I'm sure you lot don't either. Just a little push, a little push with the outside of our foot. Bring it back with an inside cut. Okay, so you're not going to be stood here like I am. You're going to be moving about a bit more. So if you think you've got it, off you go. For those of you that aren't sure, a little outside push and an inside cut. Okay? I'll do it one more time. Outside push, inside cut. Outside push, inside cut. And the idea is to stay in one straight line, okay? Outside push, inside cut. Outside push, inside cut. Outside push, inside cut. Let's go for another 25. Go, go, go! Just a little push on that outside one. Well done. Okay. 10 second rest this one. 10 second. So, exactly what we've just done, but I want now two outside pushes and then an instep. Okay? Exactly the same, but two outside pushes. So, I'll just show you from mine if you think you've got that, get going. But I want one, two, inside cut. One, two, inside cut, okay? One, two. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go another 20 seconds on that one. Sticking 
gonna roll the ball over just like we were doing. I want us to stop it like we did earlier with our opposite foot. As we stop the ball, I want us to fake, what do I want, a step over, a step over or a scissor or a Ronaldo, whatever you guys call it. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna close the gate. We're going outside to inside of this one. Closing the gate and roll it over, okay? Roll, stop. Does that make sense? Let's go for 45 seconds on that one. For those of you that aren't sure, let me show you. You're gonna roll the ball over your body, stop it with your opposite foot, okay? And then with the foot you just rolled over with, you're gonna go around the ball as a step over, okay? Make sense? Cool. I'll show you on the other side. Roll the ball over, stop it, outside step over to inside, okay? So it should just go ching, 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 boom. Should be really small ones. on that one. You guys are smashing it today. It's been nice having full football instead of a bit of fitness. Can't wait till we're back in the sun on the field. 10 seconds, keep going. Nice 
well done. Fantastic bit of dribbling in there. Keep going, five, four, three, two. Nice, let's have a rest. Okay, that's 29 moves for the last one. I thought we'd have a bit of fun. I'm gonna let you freestyle this one. So keep your feet balancing on your foot around the world. Don't mind what you do, just please make sure you're safe. I don't want your parents coming for me anyway. So we'll do 30 seconds on this one. This is our last move, freestyle move. Let's go. I think I'm gonna go for a balance. Oh, so close. Keep going, 30 seconds, freestyle with those feet. today so I hope you had a good session oh hay fever it's massive I hope you all had a fantastic session uh, we did 29 moves in there 30 with whatever move you did at the end um, hopefully we'll get an announcement soon so we can be back on the field in this beautiful weather I will put up another video this Friday so make sure you get involved um, and if you again want any feedback um, or you want to give any feedback or if you want any particular thing on a session let me know because i'm hoping there'll only be a few more left where we can see you all back on the field so thank you to everyone taking part thank you to joe for letting me do these videos and remember if you haven't liked our facebook page we are we do football these sessions are absolutely free come and give us a like and i will see you all on friday have a fantastic week guys see you later